Whether this one pays off is the real test. Before Alto, there were plenty of promises, and almost all of them led nowhere. Canada has been chasing high-speed rail since the 1960s, but the story always seems to end the same way. Excitement, studies, press releases, then silence. One of the earliest attempts was the Turbo Train, a futuristic-looking machine introduced in 1968. Built by the United Aircraft Corporation, it looked like a leap forward. It even hit 170 miles per hour during testing in the US. But in Canada, it struggled. On Canadian tracks, it maxed out at 140 miles per hour and rarely hit that in real service. It shared tracks with freight, leading to constant slowdowns, and passengers complained about the rough ride. It was pulled from service in 1982 after just 14 years, and things didn't improve much after that. Over the next four decades, multiple studies were launched. Politicians floated bold ideas, 